How do you do? I'm Graham Murphy, a product manager here at Tech Rentals. We're just today we're just going to look at the Hioki LR 8431-20. It's a nice little simple to use um, recorder for industrial applications, etc. Now I've got the unit plugged into power. Um, there's a power plug on the back here. It only lasts a couple of hours on batteries. Um, also, I plugged the uh, USB memory stick into here to capture the data too. And here's the on-off switch. So I'm going to switch the unit on. Now, before we use the unit, it's usually a good idea um, to set it back to some sort of initial condition. So I move the arrow up here. I come across to system and then I can come down here and there's initialize. Now you notice I'm navigating using the, um, the arrow keys here, etc. And now I can go initialize, cross, cross there and I go yes. That's it, right now I've cleared out any pre-program. This unit remembers the last program that's loaded in it, which is actually quite good, because once you've got it configured away, you go, you can turn it off, you can turn it on, etc., etc. Now in this instance, um, initially I've uh, got a number of sensors plugged into it. The first one we'll go through is the fact that I've got a thermocouple, a Type-K thermocouple. So I'm going to come over here um, and we'll start the setup. Now firstly, there's an interval. Now 10 milliseconds is a pretty quick uh, sample time for a thermocouple. So we won't do that. We'll bring that down here. So I'll go I'll say um, one second per division is probably pretty normal for a thermocouple. Now I'm going to come across here to channel and I'll go enter. Now at the moment, um, if I actually select range, it's a little easier. I've got a lot of channels enabled here, so I'm going to disable the channels. And again, I'm just navigating, use the arrow button. So I turn everything off but channel one. All right. That means the only graph that's going to be on the display is channel 1. Now at the moment the input is set to voltage here. Now we can either change that on the channel page here, whereby you can go channel up, channel down, etc. The channel positions or on the range page. I'll use the channel page. Now, here we go, I'll come down to here, voltage, set it to the type K thermocouple. Now, the, that's a standard range 2000, but what I want to do is just display it, uh, does a default, you can say, see over here, 0 to 100 degrees. Let's pretend we wanted some other range, so I'm going to go set an upper and lower. So the upper value is 100 degrees, let's be make it between minus um, 40 and 60. So I'm going to set the upper range here uh, to 60. 60. Okay, and the lower range to minus 30, minus 40. Oops, hang on. Up and down, minus, minus 40. Oops, that's 400. Come over here. Four. Okay, now we've set that up. All right, so there's the range it's operating at now. We can see that the value is currently uh, 24.3 degrees. Now I've wired the thermocouple up. Now remember with a the thermocouple the red wire is negative. Now the thermocouple is connected and just to prove that I've got everything wired up correctly I'm going to grab the thermocouple and it should go up to about 30 degrees or so. And there it goes, 30.7, 30 30 31, that's it. So we know, I know I've wired it up correctly and it's working correctly. Now I'll let it go and the temperature will drop. Now let's have a look at what that looks like um, in the graph. So if I hit start, yes, enter, it will just simply start recording. So here's our thermocouple moving up and down, etc. So actually I might change the range here. Now I hit stop, yes. Now let's see, see what we can do here. Um, under, I'm gonna go back up to setup. I hit the set button. Okay, up to here, actually it, it was, it's a, the range is a little bit large, so I might set the range, say, between um, 40 degrees and um, 20 degrees, and um, 20, 20, so that, that'll be a little bit, sort of make the changes a little bit more dramatic. 
Okay. Now, notice I changed the negative to positive there, etc. Now, the other thing that's useful to note is the fact that under settings here, there is a function called auto save. Now, what I'm going to do, you hit select that, I'm going to auto save real time to a CSV file. Um, that's right, uh, can we set? Okay, we need to set change the interval up to about 100 milliseconds, again, which is screamingly fast for a thermocouple. So here we go, it's set there, and where I'm going to save it, the media I'm going to set is the USB memory stick. Now, okay, so again, let's do this again. We hit start, yes, and here's our thermocouple. I'm going to grab the thermocouple, and there it goes, shoot it up. Now, it's saving this data real time to the USB memory stick, so we've got a record of it. Very simple, very easy to use. If you have any questions, um, just um, enter them uh, in the area below, etc., and we'll come back to you on those. Um, now, I'm going to, there's going to be another couple of videos about setting uh, sensors up, which uh, getting this thing to trigger, and also setting up a slightly more complicated um, trend, uh, channels on this thing, for example, 4 to 20 milliamp, etc. Thank you very much.